Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here, iTouch iPods. And for this review, I'm going to be bringing you guys the iPod Touch 2G hard case with a stand uh, built into it. That's really the name of this case. I know it's a weird name, but it is from Brando Workshop, guys. So stay tuned, and uh, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Also, one quick thing I want you guys to do is go check out somebody uh, by the name of iMac App Reviews for this video. He's the person I would like you guys to go check out right now. His link is over there in the video description, so guys, make sure you go check him out. Uh, awesome. He's got some actually pretty cool uh, reviews. So if you guys can go check him out, I will uh, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like what he's doing, and um, let's go ahead and get back to the video, guys. So we have the case right here, as you guys can see. Uh, it does say on the side, crystal case. Not really sure why. Um, not really sure why it says crystal case. Uh, where's the other one? Right here. Just like this one, the crystal case. It also says crystal case. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but I don't know. It is the hard case with the foldable stand brought to you guys by Brando Workshop. Link in the video description. Make sure, guys, to go check them out wherever that uh, link happens to be. Once again, very simple packaging. You open it up, you have your cardboard, fake iPod. It uh, comes with the iPod Touch 1G fake cardboard, but it is for the 2G. Don't be mistaken. Drop that right in there. Take this out. Just like the crystal case, it is a two-piece case. Put that put back the packaging. Nothing else in there. Um, no screen protector, nothing like that. Just just the straight up the case. Not that big of a deal, but it is. Um, I do find it a little bit better when companies go ahead and include a screen protector, maybe a microfiber, something like that, but not the biggest of deals. Um, it is a pretty cool case. Uh, it does have its flaws, but uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see if we can get stand this up back here. Nah, no, let's just set that down. Alright, so as you guys can see, it comes in black right here. I believe this case also comes in a clear, uh, almost fogged, uh, white case almost. Uh, but it is see-through. You can either check out that one or this black one right here. It is a two-piece, once again. Uh, this case doubles as a stand, either um, vertical or horizontal, however you guys want to do it. They advertise it as a uh, vertical stand, but you, I found out that you can also use it as a horizontal stand. So let's, let's just go ahead and get into this case. Let me see if I can place it together here without having the iPod in it. No, I can't. All right. You guys check out this front, uh, this first piece, which is the top piece. You turn to the side. You have your cutout for your volume rockers, which I will show you in a minute. Doesn't uh, really do its job that well. You have your cutout for the power and sleep awake button right up here. Once again, doesn't really do its job too well, but I will get to that. And then back here, you just have a flat, um, very shiny, nice finish. Back here, you guys can see some dust. I'll just wipe that out. Um, very nice smooth finish in the back very nice you guys also see right here the hinge which is for the um, it's for the stand in the back you guys may be worried about that metal touching the back of your iPod I am as well but uh, I put it on a couple times moved it around see if it would scratch the back and it seems that there's just enough um, of the little cavern that it's in right there for it to not reach the back of your iPod so that's pretty cool uh, right there let's go ahead and turn it over on the top back here you do have your little stand piece right here this is that little stand piece that will come out and lock into place which I'll show you in a bit and that's basically it on the back you have a nice fat black finish All right. let's go ahead and move on to the bottom piece here you have also this is where the cutout for the back piece will slide into alright once again you do have that nice smooth black texture Let's go ahead and turn it here to the inside. Here you have this bottom piece where, and you guys can see this groove, where that top piece that I just showed you is going to lock into. It's just going to slide right, boom, just like that into there, and you have your fully open dock. All right, let's go ahead and put the iPod in here. Uh, I'm going to slide it in, let's say, from the top first. Um, go ahead and just put it in the case, slide it up till it can't go up anymore, push it all the way in there. Go ahead, turn it over, uh, turn it over, take your bottom piece, simply just slide it up there until you hear a really, 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 really slight click. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but it is a very, very faint click. Um, it does have a little, almost like a locking mechanism here as well, which I found not to really work. As you guys can see, I will very lightly pull down on this, and it will come out. Um... You guys heard that right there. Hopefully you heard that. Um, it does kind of lock in there, but not the greatest um, of all locking mechanisms. Uh, the slide is what mainly holds it in. The grooves of the slide is what mainly holds it in. Uh, all right. 
So once you have your case on here, it is a pretty hard plastic style case. It is um, called the hard case with foldable stand. So it is pretty tough. It's going to protect your iPod from minor uh, drops. As you guys can see right there, it's going to protect it from minor drops. Definitely going to protect it on the back from scratches. You guys can hear I'm scratching that pretty hard. It's not really going to scratch it. Um, you're, I will actually um, really trust this case because it is pretty thick. You guys can see I have a knife right here. Go along the back like that. No scratches on this whatsoever. No, no scratches even on that. You guys can see it did pretty much. It did hold up really well. Uh, it's actually a really nice style uh, protective case here. Um, it is really going to offer you a lot of protection, but it does have its flaws. Um, let's start off with the front. As you guys can see here, it does go around, covers most of the chrome bezel. Let me see if I can get this on there to focus. As you guys can see, there is some of the chrome bezel exposed as I move the iPod up. Does not fully cover the chrome bezel right there. It does not fully go all the way around. But your home button, fully accessible. You can go ahead, slide, do whatever you need to do. You can go ahead and use your screen. Nothing is blocked on the screen. Go ahead and play games or whatever. Uh, go ahead and put that off again. Uh, as you guys can see, I just want to show you those. You see that right there, both of these on the side? That's where it's going to go ahead and lock into. Um, that side is where those two pieces meet. You do have a pretty, a pretty large gap in between those. Doesn't look too big there, but for the size that it should be, it's actually a pretty large gap. Uh, in between those. I wish they would have fully went up and connected. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I wish it would have fully gone up and connected into each other instead of leaving that little gap. Because that little gap does make it tend to slide out more. Alright, let's go ahead and clip that back in. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the back. On the back, you do have your stand piece right here in the middle, which I'll show you in a second. You see where it connects to itself all along here. Um, on the back, once again, it's nice, thick protection. On the top right there, you can see your power button. On the side right here, your volume rockers. What? You guys see that, right? You guys are seeing that? Yeah, your volume rockers, kinda. Uh, as you guys can see, they did kind of do this case a little bit off. Uh, it should have been down a little bit more. As This top piece should have been down a little bit more, and then this piece should have been down a little bit more as well. Uh, you can't really access the volume down on this. That's, my, that's a big downside of this case. Guys, watch the screen as I uh, watch over here, as I try to get into these buttons right here, over here. I really, You really have to dig your finger in there to even, like, I'm really trying now, guys. I'm actually really trying to get that volume down. As you guys can see, I'm barely just getting it. You really have to dig your finger in there. Um, the volume up isn't too hard. You um, do have to dig your finger in there, but not as bad as you do to have to uh, ably access the volume down. The volume down is really hard. You guys can see it can cover it. And also your power button or your sleep button, whatever you guys prefer to call it, is actually really deep in there too. That's what she said. You actually have to stick your finger in there and actually try to find the power button and then push it. Um, and then you'll be able to get it. So that is two downsides of this case. The power button and the volume rockers, really, really hard to get to. But then you do have your fully open dock, sing, charge, listen to your music while, with the case on. And now let me show you something about this case that they mainly advertise it about. It's the stand. So what you want to go ahead and do is you guys can see right here, you go ahead and pinch right there to take this little piece out. You get this little piece right here to flop. You go ahead and bend it down. And there's a little, let me see if you guys can see that right there. You guys see that right there in the back of the iPod? You guys can see the Apple logo too. Um, little, little spot. You take this little piece up here. Push it in there so it stays just like that. You guys can see. Now what you're just going to go ahead and do. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Oh, wrong way. What you want to go ahead and do. It will snap in there now. And you go ahead and just place it down like that. You can go ahead and use it however you wish with the stand. It's going to stand up. You can go ahead and watch a movie or watch a slideshow of pictures. Whatever you guys really prefer. Um, this is how they advertise it to work like this. But I also found is that if you just want to go ahead and put it on the side and watch a movie, you can easily go ahead and do that. Very simple right here. Just sit back, watch your movie. Stands at almost like a perfect angle for the video. Uh, so you don't really get a glare or anything like that. So that's pretty cool right there that they uh, made it into a stand as well. Um, but once again, it does have its down downfalls and its flaws with the buttons um, which are which you're mainly going to be using with your iPod, the volume rockers and the power button. Really hard to get to guys. Um, this case is available for $14. Not that bad of a price for this type of case especially with the stand built in. Um, would I buy this case guys? Would I buy this? No. I wouldn't buy this case. You guys want to know my opinion? No I would not buy this case. 
But it's not a bad case. I'm not saying that it's a bad case. It is a nice case. It's going to offer you actually a lot of protection. The stand on it is a really cool little built-in thing. Just to put it in, just go ahead and put it right back up in there. And it's safe. The stand's not going to go anywhere. Um, it does seem to come up, tend to come apart a lot simpler uh, than some other sliding cases might, like uh, the ink case slider. Uh, it does come apart a little bit easier than that, um, even with the little locking mechanism it has here. But guys, all around, it's a pretty good case. Would I buy it? No. Um, but it is a really cool case, really cool designs. Um, they did try to do well with this case, but it didn't really work out. Um, so guys... I'm going to say stay away from this case. Up to you guys. I will catch you in my next review. Favorite, comment, and subscribe. Peace, guys. Take care.